5 Render 2.4 is going to be a big deal, and here's why. Being an architectural designer means you have to spend a lot of money on tools and software. Architects are always switching from one software to another to get their project done, which costs money and time to learn and adjust. But with D5 Render, you don't have to worry about that problem. It's a free software and you can rest assured it caters to designers, architects, and architectural students. So everyone can start designing and visualizing with this easy, intuitive, and powerful real-time tool. You can see any changes to your design right in the software. To get started with D5 Render, you can watch my previous video which talks about the installation process, importing your model, interface, environment, effects, and so much more. In this video, however, I will be sharing the amazing features updated in the 2.4 version that makes your work so much easier and efficient. So let's get started. The new D5 GI uses Rester and Surfel and other technologies to solve the problem of darkroom scenes caused by the lack of skylight GI bounds. The earlier version of D5 GI on the left didn't really consider skylight during the caching, so the space or the scene often seemed dark and unnatural. But look on the right in the updated version. The lighting is much more realistic, the scene and the shadows don't look flat, and you can also see the details and the textures much more clearly. They've also optimized the emissive effect, so if you have any emissive lights, the lighting is softer and more accurate. So having an advanced global illumination or GI simply means you don't have to do anything to take your renders to the next level because the rendering software already did that for you by providing photorealistic lighting to your scene. In addition, the transmission effect of plants is specially optimized and the material effect of plant leaves is more transparent. So with this new GI, you can see your design turn into a photorealistic scene and enjoy an immersive experience with D5 Render. Secondly, D5 has these three under effects and style. These should help architectural student with project presentation in competitions or with clients or in uni. So AO supports customized AO radius value. So it can be used either directly rendered or as an output in the channel of images. Z depth supports controlling the distance between the white point and the black point relative to the camera. These two distances will affect the Z depth channel map in the final rendered pictures and videos. The Z depth can be used together with the outline mode, but not with the AO mode. The outline mode supports adjusting the line color, transparency, change in width by distance, background color, color fading by distance, and this one is added in 2.4. And according to the scene, the transparency effect of the outline will gradually transition from 100 to 0%. So we all know that channel exports can make your process of post-production so much easier and they've introduced the Z-Depth channel which is so important in 3D visualization. And Z-Depth channels can be used to create a sense of depth and perspective in a scene. And we also have other channels which aren't new in the 2.4 version but I think they're important to discuss because not a lot of people use them. So the sky mask or the alpha mask is used to distinguish between the model and the environment outside. The AO is usually used to improve shadows. Material ID, which I recommend you export with every single render, it uses different colors to distinguish between materials so that a single material can be selected for adjustments afterwards. Then we have reflection, which is a separate channel for reflective materials. Transparency mask, a separate channel for transparent material. So this comes handy for patch placement of models, especially trees, cars, and characters. And in the 2.4 version, when you edit the path, you can set it to be a curve or linear. The curve mode is the same as the old version, using Bezier curve. Each node can set the type separately. And we can hold the control to multi-select them, or box select them. And you can also use control A on your keyboard to select all. Finally, there are some other features that I think are worth mentioning in the 2.4 version. We have the subsurface scattering material, which is visible in real time that can be used on translucent materials such as jade, wax, and skin. They also have introduced multiple FPS options, 
It makes your editing process much easier. They've introduced focal length, so you can now export and view your models at different focal lengths. And they've also updated their asset library, holiday assets. It also includes new circular environments, planes for urban, mountainous, and water context, which saves the time to set up city or natural backgrounds yourself. So with all that considered, and the fact that it's a free software, I highly encourage you to at least try the latest version of D5 Render. It's great for architects, interior, landscape designers, and students, and I promise you that you won't regret it. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments down below. Thank you so much to D5 Render for sponsoring and allowing me to test out the newest version of D5 Render. I'm Rasha Shururu, and I'll see you next time.